It's the Cobra Cafe Tale of Clue. Oh, yeah. Google's messaging platform have evolved um, quite a lot over over years gone by. So it used to be called Hangouts, um, which used to try to do a little bit of everything. You'd have you could chat on it, you could call on it, um, and they brought some video in as well. Then they decided to split that out into Hangouts Chat, which was just for messaging, and Hangouts Meet, which was just for calling. And then it became Google Chat and Google Meet, and they finally kind of did away with the classic, um, the legacy Hangouts. Now the Rooms part of um, Google Chat is being renamed to Spaces because they're a bit more than just a room for people to chat in. Um, it's a way for people to kind of manage projects to an extent. Um, you can store all of your like files that are associated with the project in there uh, and you can also have um, numerous tasks that can be assigned to different people related to that. When they become the rooms become spaces that we'll see the addition of um, things like assigned tasks. There's also interactive polls coming, uh, integrated drive sidebar as well. There's a lot of cool new features coming with the spaces transformation. One of the most recent ones that we've noticed is the custom statuses that you can add now um, to, to Google Chat. Um, before you, you could either almost get it to either active or away, but I think now you can actually add in your own ones. You can put in your own custom things so you can see your you know, on lunch or you're in a meeting. Say for argument's sake, I had a meeting and it was with Jodie and Gordon and it was in 10 minutes time. If I'm on Google Chat just looking at other messages that are going on, because I have a meeting in 10 minutes time with those people, it will automatically create a sort of group chat between me, Jodie and Gordon that will sit at the top of the screen. They're bringing in user roles as well into chat. So you can have, yeah. for example, like with groups, you can have managers and different options of that as well and the um, search facilities improved and changing as well. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of different ways you can access Google Chat. So you can access it by going to chat.google.com, you can access it through Gmail. Um, if you have a mobile device, you can there's a, an application for uh, basically any device on that. And there's also a, a desktop app for it as well. 